Welcome to another exciting edition of Travel Guide. If you are new here consider subscribing. Today we will be visiting the The Chicago Theater. The lines for the bar can get a bit long, but just grab two drinks at once, and you'll be set. If you want to experience one of the most beautiful theaters in the city then make sure you see a show here. Almost no bad seats. The seating is fine while watching, but if someone wants to get out on your row everyone has to get up, and let that person out. Also when entering you have to be wanted, and your purse, or items go through a scanner, which is great but, if you go out for intermission you have to do everything all over which is ridiculous, all they have to is put a stamp for validation on your hand it's much quicker, and simpler, also some of their security have major attitudes when speaking to you. Great concert wonderful atmosphere not used to the metal detectors, and purse search, but living in today's world you come to accept it. If you have knee, or back problems you better spend the money for some lower level seats, or you're going to be hurting. However if you weigh over 200 pounds, you should probably consider buying tickets in the upper balcony, or your own personal space. Had a great experience seeing Red Velvet here at their second concert in Chicago at none other than the iconic Chicago Theater. Beautiful venue. Seats themselves are a little rough to sit in if you're tall, but other than that it's a great place. It's important to know that there are multiple entrances into the theater so you don't get stuck in one long line. Amazing historical building, so many architectural things to get lost in, from winding staircases to pillars with hand carvings leading to the restroom. The theater staff should address how to line up to get into theater to lessen the confusion, and announce if admitting is going to be late. Parking can be a little of a hassle, but it's a quick ride over from many of several beautiful downtown hotels. Also, the marquee goes down as one of the best in us, it's very iconic, and worth seeing even if you aren't going inside. Saw Bill Burr here most recently, and have seen several concerts in the past, the sound is great for both spoken word, and music acts. It could been a little bit more organized hence of barriers, perhaps? After going inside, there were staff standing by the stairs directing. So on white their good sight lines show was hilarious only takeaway was the seats could have been more comfortable. Sinbad was great, having to pay 49 to park for 3 hours, and waiting in a bathroom line for 30 minutes sucked. I've seen a few acts here, and it's always so much fun. Easy to get into, and out of, which makes the show that much more enjoyable. You didn't have to walk your wife's purse three blocks back to the car because it was bigger than a postcard. Lovely theater with an old vintage feel. The velvety seats were quite comfy, and the beautiful chandeliers add a classy touch to the fine architecture. Balcony is also not super far like in most atmospheres like these so if you have to be in the balcony it's fine just remember to try, and sit as close to the center as possible. Lovely theater with an old vintage feel, the velvety seats were quite comfy, and the beautiful chandeliers add a classy touch to the fine architecture. Note, you must call, and get tickets for a tour if you wish to see it. Nothing online tells you about the tour. The Chicago Theater looks amazing however you need to schedule a tour for 15 at a specific time 12 noon if you wish to see it. Theater hasn't lost that old school charm from when it was a theater, to a movie house, and back to the theater. Beautiful looking venue with friendly staff, and good seating giving you good visibility of the stage no matter where you are sitting. Sometimes there are long lines for the female restrooms, and for drinks no excuse for this one but the overall experience is always good batting 1000. However, from Perdonal basic standpoint the aesthetic, the historic, the sound quality, the view even from the less expensive front row center location balcony seats, it definitely a four star, an epic place, to visit in the city of Chicago, is beautiful, and the events that take place are very well organized, you cannot miss a selfie outside this wonderful theater. The only drawback is that once the production started, they kept letting people in up to an hour after it started the squared. The sound needs to be updated because if you sit on the side you can't hear that well it's like reverb. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, and leave your comments below.